This is your Taking Action for You station. Now, ABC Action News at noon. All this week, we've been exploring the subject of stem cell treatments for those with debilitating conditions. Today, we explore how stem cells are being used right now here in the United States, how they're helping, and what's in the future for them. Our Linda Hurtado has the details. Does she need to be changed? Diana Pearson defied the odds when she carried and delivered two healthy babies despite having cerebral palsy. There's no cure, but Diana believes stem cell therapy may help her. Since these cells can become anything, um, you know, without your body rejecting them, it could basically be used to repair any part of the body that has damage to it or disease. In Diana's case, she hopes they repair the damaged part of her brain. Hello. So. After her baby Veronica was born, Diana stored the blood from the umbilical cord with a private banking service. This is how it works. Blood is collected right after birth. It's brought to a storage facility. The stem cells are separated from the rest of the blood and are stored frozen in these tanks until they're needed. CryoCell International in Tampa explains that stem cells are the thin layer between the red blood cells and the plasma and are legal to use for certain treatments in the United States. The FDA regulates their usage. The types of diseases that are typical are uh, cancers like leukemias, various forms of leukemias, lymphomas, um, severe anemias. For example, Nicholas Henderson. Julie and Jonathan Henderson were pregnant when they found out their two-year-old son, Nicholas, had lymphoma. Doctors suggested they store the new baby's cord blood. When the doctor said, it's back and he needs a transplant, I said, oh, I know why I'm pregnant. His baby brother's stem cells were transplanted into Nicholas's body. Three years later, Nicholas is still cancer free. It's all my email already. As for Diana, she keeps searching the internet for doctors and facilities willing to give it a try. But to treat Diana's cerebral palsy would be considered experimental and unlikely in the U.S. Because of FDA regulations, her only option may be to travel overseas. Medical ethicist Michael Williams sees potential. But cautions, stem cell treatment should not be viewed as a quick miracle cure. There's been lots and lots of hope, maybe even hype, expressed about what stem cells can do. There's some amazing stem cell work that's going on here. And yet when you have the opportunity to talk to the scientists who are clinician scientists doing this, they have a very long timeline because you have to prove that it works in animals, you have to prove that it's safe. You have to have careful trials to prove that it works in humans. Linda Hurtado, ABC Action News. CryoCell is excited about yet another advancement in stem cells. They say they will begin storing placental stem cells as well as cord blood stem cells. Placental stem cells are collected at the same time cord blood is collected. And according to the experts at CryoCell, the placental stem cells can do what embryonic stem cells can do without all the controversy. If you'd like more information on stem cells in general or information on how to store stem cells after a baby's birth, go to our website. That's abcactionnews.com. Understood.